hello and welcome to today's video we are going to be continuing with our work on ledger accounts as you would recall on the previous video we focused on ordinary share capital which was essentially how to then record new capital in the business how to record a transaction whereby the business sells shares to the public so you remember we debited bank because uh, our cash increases and then we credited ordinary share capital because our capital account also increases and then we also looked at the retained income which is essentially profits from previous accounting periods we saw on the previous video that with retained income you have to distribute or transfer these profits to the appropriation account where they are going to be distributed it can be for dividends we also add the profit or loss for a particular year which is then used to pay income tax so now that we've done these accounts today we are going to do uh, two other accounts as well and that is uh, the appropriation account as i've said on our previous video to say the appropriation account is an account that is where uh, distribution distribution of profit happens so it's the it's where the sharing of profit uh, happens and then we are also going to cover uh, income tax as well because uh, this uh, is very important in the context of a company so let's start with the appropriation account so with the appropriation account uh, this is what you typically see so appropriation So appropriation account is neither an asset, equity, liability, income or an expense. It's neither of those. Why? Because appropriation account is created only for a specific purpose and that purpose is to distribute the profits of the business. It's like the asset disposal account which is created to show the disposal of an asset. So it's neither an asset, equity, liability, income, or an expense. It's just an account that is created to carry out a particular objective. And in this case, that objective is to distribute the profits of the business. So the profits of the business include profits from previous years and profits from current year. So in this case, you'd find that on the credit side of the appropriation account, you are going to have a retained a retained income so it's going to be here on the credit side in this case let's say retained income is 100000 and then this retained income remember i said you distribute not only the current year's profit but also profits from the previous years that was retained income. So this retained income is going to be added with current year profits from the profit or, or loss from the profit or loss account. So let's say the current year profit is five hundred and eighty thousand. So this means that this five hundred and eighty thousand this year's profit and retained income from the previous years is going to be distributed uh, which means that it's going to be used to pay for things like dividends and income tax and then on the debit side of the account which is essentially what you are going to distribute
on the debit side of the account you are then going to have your income tax income tax is paid from or with the profits uh, for the year so you use the current year's profit or loss because income tax is calculated based on the net profit that the business generated for a particular year so in this case this income tax for the year is going to be paid using the 580 and then if the business then or if the company decides to declare dividends that's also going to be paid using a uh, retained income and uh, the net profit that was generated for the year so this will be called dividends on ordinary shares so these dividends are declared on ordinary shares there are different types of shares that the business can issue our focus has been on the ordinary shares but the business can also issue what is called the preference shares and if you <coughs> if you wish you may go and make a research about the differences between ordinary shares and preference shares our focus is not on preference shares for grade 12 but there is a reason why we are specific uh, in terms of uh, the dividends to say the dividends are for a particular type of shares and that is ordinary shares so most of the time you'd find that the profit or income tax is calculated at 80 percent of net profit so that means that for you to to find income tax using the net profit you are simply going to say 580,000 multiplied by 80 percent And that should give you something like 174,000. So then this is the income tax that will be paid from the profits that we generated this year. So this 174 is going to come here. And then the business can also decide to declare dividends on ordinary shares as I've alluded. Uh, it's the directors that are going to decide uh, to see uh, how much uh, will each dividend uh, be declared at and for this example without being too technical let's say that the dividends that we declared they amount to 150,000 rands so if you look at the debit side and the credit side obviously you can see that the credit side is more than the debit side so that means that the balance then 680,000 is also going to be recorded here on the uh, debit side as well so ideally in an in a normal account you would have something called the balance carried down which is then going to be the difference between 680 and 150 and 174 which is 356 but in the case of an appropriation account remember i said an appropriation account is a distribution account it's where the profits are shared that's the purpose of the appropriation account meaning that it does not have an opening balance or a closing balance so the balance then that would remain after paying income tax and paying dividends is going to go to the retained income or retained earnings so this is going to be the retained earnings uh, as ed which means that at the end of this current uh, financial period so then these retained earnings uh, are going to be re recorded as retained income so this is what is left after the profits of the business have been distributed for income tax and dividends on ordinary shares this is what is going to be left so that means that on the retained income account you are going to have an opening balance at the beginning of the previous year you are going to have an opening balance of how much 
of 356,000. Where on the retained income account. Remember, retained income is what? Is an equity account. So it increases on the credit side and then it decreases on the uh, debit side. So at the beginning of the new year, this is what you are going to have as an opening balance. I hope that made sense. Now, let's talk about income tax. Uh, up until now, you have not come across an account like income tax. You'd recall that in a sole trader, uh, the business is owned by one person. And most of the time, sole traders are not registered. So they don't pay tax. And then partnerships as well, it's the same thing. But with companies, with companies, remember I told you that companies have rights and responsibilities. And one of the rights of the company, sorry, or one of the responsibilities <coughs> of a company is to pay income tax on whatever a, a, a net profit it generates for the year. So this income tax then is based on a percentage. You'd find that uh, the government can decide to say, okay, it's going to be 30% of whatever that you generate, or sometimes it can be 28%. So but here we are going to use uh, 80%. So income tax, or we can say uh, a company is, a, is what is called a provisional taxpayer. So that means that uh, it must pay its tax in advance, meaning at the beginning of the year or during the year, it does not necessarily know how much tax it is going to be charged at the end of the year because they don't know how much profit they are going to make at the end of the year. So the tax that they pay during the year, as required by SARS, is based on projections or is based on our forecasts. So, let's say you have an opening balance here. So you have balance brought down. This opening balance is 1,000. So, with this opening balance, when it's on the credit side, the balance of income tax account, when it's on the credit side, it means that the business is the one that is owing SARS tax. So, the business is liable for this tax. It needs to pay this tax to SARS. So, most of the time, you'd find that a business would pay the, the tax that it is liable for on the a beginning or at the beginning of the next financial year. So if maybe for 2018 uh, tax is calculated and then they find that okay we have a closing balance of 1000. At the beginning of 2014 this 1000 is going to be paid. So when it is being paid uh, we are going to record here and say bank and then 1000 to show that this tax that belonged to the previous year has been paid. However, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's SARS that owes the business tax. So you find that the business overpays it tax for a particular period. And then in that case, the SARS is the one that is owing the business. So the income tax account will be treated as an asset in that case. The balance will be on the debit side. And then that 1000 is going to be here. So this 1000 what it's going to do, it's going to reduce the amount of tax that the business is liable for in the current financial year. So if maybe in the current year, the business was uh, or is expected to pay, let's say, 10,000. That means that the, the the tax that is going to be paid as a result of the opening balance from last day is going to be 9,000. So this is what happens 
uh, with the income tax account in terms of the opening balance. It can be on the debit side or the credit side. When it's on the credit side, it means that the business owes SARS income tax from the previous financial year. If it's on the debit side, it means that it's SARS who owes the business. It means that the business overpaid its tax account uh, in the previous financial year. So for us, we are going to focus on the example using the previous financial year and the balance then would be on the credit side which is a liability so let's say you have a 1000 opening balance on the credit side so at the beginning of the next financial year as i've said this 1000 is going to be paid so it's going to be bank remember bank uh, is going to be like this bank and then income tax so bank will decrease and then uh, income tax will be debited as well to show that this now is being paid so you are going to have 1000 here and then you are going to close this uh, account like this when you close it like this you are showing that the income tax for the previous financial period has been paid and then the next step then is for you uh, to to record the provisional payments of income tax for the year. Remember, I told you that the company is a provisional taxpayer. So it pays tax based on projections or based on certain estimates that are made. And these estimates, the sum or the total of these estimates is going to be compared against the actual tax that, that the company uh, would pay at the end of the year the actual tax or the tax that the business pays is based on provisional payments the two provisional payments that the business would then pay the first one is going to be around mid-year and then the second one is going to be around or before the end of the year so these are the provisional payments that the business pays to SARS they are called provisional payments because they are not based on income tax. They are not based on the net profit for the year, sorry. They are based on projections. So these provisional payments then, their total is going to be compared against the actual tax that is paid. So if, for an example, the first provisional payment around August is paid, Let's say they projected that the first provisional payment is going to be 185,000. It's going to come here. And then you find that uh, the second provisional payment, which is paid around February, uh, it's going to come here as well, which is going to be 94,000. Right? So these provisional payments are going to be compared, uh, of course, with the actual tax that the business paid. So you'd find that the actual tax the actual tax that the business paid as you'd recall was how much? Was one hundred and seventy four thousand. So this the sum or the total of these provisional payments then is going to be compared with the one seventy four thousand. So it's 174,000 visas, 85 plus 94. What is 85 plus 94? 85 plus 94 is 179. So 179,000. So this is actual. So this is the actual tax. And then this is the provisional payments that were made during the year. So if you look at these two amounts, what we paid during the year is more than what we were supposed to pay. So we have overpaid our, our, our SARS income tax account. So that means that here on the income, on the debit side of the SARS income tax account, you are going to have income tax like this. And then this is going to be how much? This is going to be that 94. 
sorry 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 174000 and then when you then try to balance these two accounts you'd find that the debit side which is this one 79 is more than the credit side which is 174 right so that means that both sides is going to be 179 179000 Okay. Then from here you are going to have balance carried down on the credit side which is then going to be how much which is going to be 5000. And then this is going to be opening balance for the SARS income tax account. So this is the balance brought down of 5000. So what does this mean? It means that the SARS income tax account at the beginning of the next financial year is going to be an asset account. So on the statement of uh, financial position or the balance sheet this is going to be shown under uh, trade and other receivables. So this was the SARS income tax account. it's an asset or or the liability depending on the opening balance if the opening balance is on the credit side then the account is an is a liability account if the opening balance is on the credit side then the account if the opening balance is on the debit side then the account is an asset account and then on the debit side you also record what you also record uh, the tax payments or the provisional tax payments that were made for the year this is the first one and this is the second one and then these provisional tax payments are compared against the actual tax that was paid uh, for the year which is calculated based on the net profit of the business i'm not sure if that is making sense if you have questions please uh, send those question on the comment section And then the last account that we are going to do which is easy is the income tax account. So there's income tax account and then the SARS income tax account. These are two different uh, accounts. The SARS income tax account is an asset or liability account depending on the opening balance. And then the income tax account is an expense account. So this is the tax that you paid. Uh, for the year or the actual tax that was paid for the year so this actual tax of course it's going to be paid after the net profit for the year has been calculated so uh this means that this means that this account this tax that we worked out here or this tax this actual tax that was paid based on the net profit uh, is going to be debited here because this is an expense so you are going to have an amount that comes from the sars income tax account sars income tax this is the actual tax which is 174000 Remember this 174000 is then closed off to what is then closed off to the appropriation account 174000 Yes so these are the accounts that I wanted us to look at today and uh learn how to 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 do them especially the logic that is required in recording in these accounts remember the appropriation account it's where uh, the sharing of profits or the distribution of profits happens so this is the profit profits i mean profits from the previous year uh, or previous financial years and then profit from the current year the profit from the current year 
is going to be used to pay what to pay tax for the current year so the actual tax that the business pays is based on the profit from the current year and then the business can decide to pay dividends as well so these dividends uh, are going to be debited on the appropriation account and then whatever that remains is going to be transferred back to the retained income account representing profits that are retained profits that are kept which belonged to, to the previous periods and then the SARS income tax account is, a, is an asset account or a liability account it is an asset account when the opening balance is on the debit side and then it is a liability account when the opening balance is on the credit side so in this example the opening balance was on the credit side so that means that the SARS income tax account is a liability account in this case. So because this is tax that is owed from previous uh, accounting periods, that means that at the beginning of the new financial period, the business would have to first pay the debt or the tax from the previous accounting period. And then from there, you then record the two provisional payments that the business makes during the year. These provisional payments are based on estimates. This is not the actual tax that the business was supposed to pay. They're based on estimates. And then these estimates are going to be compared against the actual tax at the end of the year. The actual tax at the end of the year, remember, is calculated using the net profit for the year, which was how much? Which was 580,000. So upon comparing we noticed that the actual tax that was paid was less than, or the actual tax that is supposed to be paid was less than the provisional payments that were made during the year, which means that the estimated payments that were made during the year. So in this case, it means that we overpaid the tax expense, and then hence then we have a balance here carried down of 5,000 which is going to be balanced brought down on the next financial year, which is going to be recorded on the debit side. And then we have the income tax account, which is the actual expense account. So here you record the actual tax that was paid, uh, which uh, comes from the SARS income tax account. Hence, you then debit this account uh, because it's an expense with 174000 And then this uh, account because it's an expense is then transferred to the appropriation account. So whatever that you recorded here needs to be transferred to the appropriation account because that's where uh, profits are distributed. Yes, so that's what I wanted to cover in as far as this video is concerned. If you have any questions, please ask your questions in the comment section below. Otherwise, we are going to see each other on the next one. Thank you very much for your time, guys.